I'm sure you all heard the terrible news that came out of Colorado um, in a movie theater. And my prayers are with all those families whose lives have been completely changed over some senseless act. Um, and it got me thinking about the news. And it got me thinking about our world and the types of people that are produced and the different upbringing that may or may not have something to do with those types of individuals. Some say that it's mental health. Others, you know, just say that it's cold-hearted. I don't like to watch the news. When I watch the news, I find myself sinking into a deep state of negativity, despair, and hopelessness. I get my news from the internet. And every now and then, if I'm around, I will watch those major news networks, but not for very long. Then when I hear about someone who has just done something like this, I go back to this thought. How would you be, what kind of a person would you be if you were brought up in a different country than you already were? If your parents were different people, if you were born into a different culture, if you were a different ethnicity, if you had different friends, what kind of a person would you be? And I wonder sometimes to myself, what would I be like if I was born in China? What would I be like if I was born in India? What would I be like if I was born in California and not in Michigan? And this is a thought that has gone through my mind every now and then, but even more so when I hear stories like this. Do you guys believe that where you're born makes up a lot of who you are? I mean, you can very well just pick up and move if you wanted to, if you were old enough to, if you had the courage to. What about those people who stay in one place their entire lives? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm one of them as of right now. Not to say that I haven't traveled before, because I have, but they're anchored. I'm anchored in one place because of family, because of jobs, because of school, whatever it is. What keeps you anchored? And is that good or is that bad? Is that a good thing to be anchored or is it bad? Does it provide more of a foundation in your life or does it frustrate you because you want to be somewhere different? I read somewhere and I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I read that future criminals are predicted based on third grade state tests. Isn't that scary? third grade, they're predicting criminals, criminal like behavior or, you know, that they're, <clears throat> that they're going to be failures. Isn't that, isn't that something? That young age? So what does that tell us? That childhood is very important. Children, the way they grow up, their experiences, the people, the way they're treated is extremely important. More important than you can ever imagine. More important than I could ever imagine. And we all know this. We all know this. How many times have you just had a, a brief memory just pop into your mind from childhood? A lot of the problems that you may be facing when it comes to yourself, that inner turmoil, those flaws you might have, stem from childhood. It's not to say that your childhood will hold you back. I mean, anything can hold you back. 
especially yourself, if you let it. If you let yourself. But it's a good learning experience to, as an adult, look back and observe and question. Those are my thoughts for the day and I want to know what you guys think. Does the way you are raised really have that much of an impact on you as an individual? Or can you break free if you want to?